Hello, thank you for coming over. It's Tasha and welcome to the altar. I have you kind of seated up here um, with me and I thought we could take a look at the Woodland Wardens 52 card Oracle deck. It's by a gal named Jessica Rue. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. It's R-O-U-X, so it makes me think Rue. Um, it's incredibly stunning. I have already seen the deck. I've looked through it and I've actually done a couple readings with it now for myself and for a friend and it's amazing. It's it's incredible. I think you're really going to like it. I filmed a video of myself looking at the cards for the first time and opening it. However, my sweet little angel fart of a dog was barking throughout and it was just, it was beyond just a couple of barks. So I thought I would refilm this and not hopefully not have um, the chorus of <laughs> Dublin's wonderful singing behind us. So this is the Woodland Wardens and it's you're going to love it. You're, I think you're going to really like it, especially if you like animal decks or flora fauna decks. It's really going to um, blow your mind a little bit. I think it's, it's gorgeous. Here's a little information. So it's, it's inspired by history, folklore, mythology, and it's her first oracle deck. So it takes you really into the forest and with that flora and fauna. All right, let's take a look. It's by Andrews McMeal Publishing, which I don't think I have any other decks by them. So we'll see what we've got going on. We begin with, of course, a beautiful box beautiful details. I love that that's kind of become a thing with Oracle and Tarot decks. And then you have the guidebook, which we'll take a look after we look at the cards. And the cards, which are gorgeous. I'm not sure how the color is picking up on the camera, um, but it's very, it in real life, it's a nice dark forest green with gold flowers. It's beautiful. And then on the inside, we have some information about Jessica. So I'll just leave that there for a second. And if you want to pause and you can read a little bit about our incredibly talented creator. The cards aren't in order. So if you're someone who needs order in your life, you're not going to like this. I was shuffling them and using them. And so they are how they were when I was doing readings with them. But I don't think that's going to matter. It doesn't, there's no, uh, real story I guess is told about the cards in a certain order so it doesn't matter that they're not in order but I know I do know that that can be a little bit annoying but let's just take a look at this completely random and whimsical and beautiful oracle deck so each one has a little bit of information about what's on the card and the flora and fauna and what's going on here and we have a little ex explanation so we've got nourishment with the antelope and wheat that's gorgeous I think that's beautiful I love 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 the colors pardon me they're a very thick cardstock and they're matte and they don't stick together. They're very easy to shuffle, which surprised me because I do find a lot of matte decks. Um, they don't shuffle well, at least not for me. I love this one. Of course, I'm partial to crows. Most of us witches are. So for all my crow lovers and fans, there you go. The eel one. I'm actually going to set this one aside because I think this is really unique. You don't see eels in a lot of decks. Like, you know, a lot of times when you get an animal deck, it's cute animals and nice animals. You get the odd snake and spider, but you don't often, I don't often see eels in those decks, at least the ones that I have or have seen. Um, so I really appreciate this. And it's the eel and iris and it represents safety. This card was creased. I noticed that when I opened it. There's two that are like that, which definitely kind of sucks. I'm not going to return them or really worry about it. Uh, I'll get over it, but you know, when you buy something and, and you're just like, you want it to be 
perfect and I was a little disappointed. And it's the cutest, the dog card and I'm a total dog lady. So, but anyway, it's all good. I like this one too, the pumpkins. I'm gonna set that one aside. That. Oh. Love that one. I love the owl. I'm a total bird lady. <laughs> so just amazing. Gives me werewolf vibes. I wish you could feel these cards. They just, they feel really nice. They feel expensive. They feel like there's a richness to them or something. Of course, they have a big border. I'm curious if they'll have a borderless deck someday. Um, but they don't really, the muted colors with the white border, honestly, it's not, I don't really find it, it takes away from anything. I like that one too. Look at that. Datura. One of my best friends in the whole world can grow, grows Datura and all kinds of baneful herbs. And she's just so gifted when it comes to plants. She was one of the first people who taught me about witchcraft. And I was pretty young. She's a very special, special person in my life. So Jen, I don't know if you're watching this, but I love you. Like, it's like almost like something in a scrapbook or, I know, I know I, I said this in the owl one, but can you imagine what these paintings look like that Jessica has done or what her other paintings look like? I'm definitely going to be looking into her more. This is amazing. I'm curious what she's going to make in the future. blue on that. It's just barely vibrant. The vulture. <laughs> Don't even know why I bother pulling out my cards that like my favorite cards because they're all my favorite cards really. blue that the blue cards have. Oh, beautiful. Skunk protection. That's a pretty good card to end on, I think. For my favorites. I would love to know yours. If you have this deck or if you plan to get this deck. Just that periwinkle blue. Get 
these guys out of the way a little bit. See, they shuffle really nicely. And the book, it's a decent sized book. It's your little white book and it's really, I think, pretty good. Um, <clears throat> it has all of the little cards, of course, and the nice little table of contents. <laughs> all black and white, which is fine. Little blurbs from, from Jessica. And then how to use the cards. What does she say here about the blue backgrounds? That just stood out to me. Perhaps you pull three birds or three blue backgrounds or three spring blooming flowers. That could indicate a period of restlessness. Blue backgrounds reflect the sky and may indicate a need to spend more time outside. Okay, cool. So you can, like tarot, you know, other decks, you can look into the background and also use that to interpret the cards. You can literally use anything that's on the card. You can use it as part of your reading. She has some suggested, like your standard three card pull. I think this is where authors are like, hey, I can do the three card pull, easy filler. <laughs> Get the creative juices going. Then we have a four card. So past season, current, next season, and following season. So for the four seasons, like that. And it has a six card that you can do for like six months. And then we get into the information from each one. And she has a little um, blurb about the card and where it, how it inspired her and what's on it. And then you have your upright meaning, your reverse meaning, and some questions to ask. So what do I hope to learn on this new path? What potential dangers should I look out for? Let's see. Yeah, so they all kind of have that. They all have a little blurb and then a couple of questions that you can ask yourself or you could ask the person that you're doing a reading for. So I think that's pretty legit. Just ends there. There's our incredible and talented Jessica, our illustrator and author. And it says here, a seasoned reader of tarot, she loves to include hidden symbolism inspired by Rider Waite Smith deck in her illustrations. So I'd be curious then, knowing that, if there are any connections between these woodland creatures and the Rider Waite Smith. Interesting. That is the Woodland Wardens Oracle deck. If I had to pick between tarot and oracle, I do prefer tarot, but sometimes oracle decks come out that I just need to have. And honestly, this, this is one of them. So thank you very much for spending some time. And thank you, Dublin, for being such a good boy and, and not barking too much this time. Have a great evening or day, or I hope, you know, whenever you're watching this, I hope you're happy and healthy and good. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.